Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome back. I just wanted to show you this quick video on a um, junk journal. Never did one before. Um, this is my first time giving it a try. Uh, my first time using my cinch that's been sitting here since what November or so. <laughs> it's been sitting here a little while, and I never used it. It's just been sitting there until I um, finally um, saw a lady. Um, on Crafty Lori's Let the Wishing Begin. As you know, I was the um, hostess this week. And one of the young ladies, oh, well, when you see this, it will, won't be this week, but the week of the 9th of May, um, I was the host on Crafty Lori's Let the Wishing Begin. And um, I granted one of the ladies' wish. Her name is Tina, as you can see her name. And she asked for a, a homemade junk journal. I think that's how you call it, or like a smash book type thing. So, of course, I have no idea. I've never made one before. I never even used my cinch until now. So, this is what it looks like. I don't know how to pull the camera back. It's really acting weird today. So, I won't touch it. But she said her favorite colors were like red and black and also fuchsia and black. Well, I didn't have a whole lot of options. So, hopefully, she likes it. I tried to do the hidden hinge, um, you know, inside... Um, spiral binding but I did my best so anyway here's the inside I left the um, inside blank for her and she can decorate it how she wants and this is the first page which got a couple layers and it opens like that and this this is the little pocket I put some you know um, project life cards I didn't realize I didn't take this one out so it got um bind it with it so <laughs> it's cute though it looks like a little tab. But I didn't mean to, but that was how it is. And then this is the other side. And then this one flips out also. So, and then the first page just looks like this. And then the next page is, you know, they're, you know, just got little decorations on them. Not very many because I wanted her to use it however she wanted to. So here's the um, pages. I really don't know how to zoom in and out. I guess I better learn. A little journaling spot and location. She can put pictures in here. She can write on it, whatever she wants to do. And then, um, as you can see, some of the Project Life cards that some of you nice ladies uh, gave me in one of my wishes. I thought I'd share the love by giving some. Anyway, um, there's a little piece of paper that she could, you know, a little notebook style paper. And there's another page. And this page says, smile and the world will smile with you. I love it. I love that. And this page, and then this one flips up and says, smile. It has cute little mustaches. I thought this was cute. Actually, this um, paper stack that I used, I actually purchased it in a D-stash almost a year ago. I love it. I bought a whole bunch of um, six by six papers. Look at that. That was probably my one of my favorite pages. It almost looks like a book flipping pages and layers. Cute, cute, cute. That's for her. Another page. Then I made a little pocket and put some post-its in it. I thought that was cute. Anyway. Then there's an um, envelope. And she can do whatever she like with that. And now I'm coming to the last couple pages. A little spot to journal real quick and she can do whatever she wants to this, which is great, I think. I actually kind of like it. I'm going to probably make my own. And this is the end. And then this is the back. I had stamped this here before I realized I could I actually had my stays on, so I could actually stamp this in the back because it's very, as you can see, it's kind of glossy. The paper actually this is a folder that I got from um, Target dollar spot that I cut down into a six by six or more like a seven and a half by seven I mean six and a half by six and a half because um, the paper is six and a half six by six so this is what I came up with I'm sorry I'm shaking the camera here um, for Tina I hope she likes it well until next time thanks for watching be blessed.